hello it's me it has been a really long time since i have talked to the camera and that is because it is something that really scares me <laughs> the truth is speaking and showing up in public in general in this way so basically um, creating videos and being on youtube is one of the scariest things to me and i think that that is why i have trouble like fully committing to it in a consistent way which is something that i would like to work on um but it is also why i do it there's just something something there there is something about fear that is so pivotal for growth and moving towards it with curiosity seems like the only way through. Don't get me wrong, I have avoided many things that I have been afraid of, but they never really go away. And when they do come back, often they are in sneaky disguises. This morning I was reading poetry today and I came upon this quote that I thought was so appropriate for this topic. The brain is not wired to nudge you towards executing your largest vision and finding your deepest fulfillment and contentment. It is wired to keep you safe. It wants you to stay inside the cave. When you leave the cave, you are committing yourself to change, which triggers every one of your subconscious fears. This is not bad, it's biological. This year, I would like to show up more consistently, and I would also like to clarify what I'm saying because that is what I'm doing in my art practice anyway. My goal is to become a gallery artist, and the thing that has really gotten in the way of um, me even approaching galleries is I have this idea that I don't know what I'm saying but yet my work is saying something and I know that. So I've been trying to get into a space to really listen deeply to the process and to the work and do the work of giving voice to it. I think it's really beautiful to think of um, this process of documenting my life and my work and forming these pearls that I share from it as a living artist statement. So that this becomes actually an integral part of what I'm saying through my life's work of being an artist and not something on the side that is sort of disconnected. I don't know if, if I'm articulating that well and it makes sense, but what I have really been feeling has been missing from the content creation piece and the artistic creation, the making and selling of art piece is, is kind of this. Can we focus? It's this, it's the integration. And um, that is a goal for this next decade. Um, to explore how that can happen.
I think I mentioned that I have been doing some business planning, looking ahead to the next decade and choosing the things that I would like to cultivate. And I know that for this year, one of them is presence and another is giving voice and practicing expressing myself in a way that inspires me because at the end of the day, that's kind of the bar for me. I want to make sure that in creating these things, I'm also inspiring myself. And I would love to know, what about you? I also want to take uh, the time to say thank you for all of those who show up and give me your presence and attention. I appreciate you immensely and I also would love to know where you are and if you have any thoughts on what you would like this space to become and how you're starting your year. What are the living questions for you? If this can move into more of a conversation and less of a monologue, that would be very enriching, I think. So heartfelt thank yous and I will talk to you again soon.